So I am going to get started five minutes early and show you something. And if people miss it, then they miss it. And that's why they should be here early. You ready? So, um, oh, this is, we're in, okay, welcome to Caller Lab. This is 44th Caller Lab. Good. And we are in Mesa, Arizona. It's Caller Lab. It's April 11th. Good. And I'm Clark Baker. And uh, I'm from Belmont, Massachusetts, and I will be moderating and doing some presenting. And Bill Eiler, who has moved for me, and he's in Cathedral City, which is near Palm Springs, California. And I don't remember the title of the session. Specialty Squares. Specialty squares. Um, That's awesome. I've done what we need to do. So I need a square up to show you the first trick. Um, gen normal genders would help me for this. I mean, a boy and a girl, and you know, the boy on the left and the girl on the right. I have never, this is a cool thing I show people. I've never figured out how and where to use this in your um, actual dancing if you had a floor of eight squares out there. Um, so, two interesting things will be happening while we're doing this session. One is, if I just had treated you as dancers and not callers, I would just be using the words and showing you how to get through it and, and so forth. And those words are very important for the success of a bunch of things we do. But since we're also kind of talking to callers, we may want to be saying some side comments about why we do it, how to set it up, where it works and where it doesn't. With all this stuff, obviously you have to use a lot of judgment, hopefully good judgment, um, and you have to make these things your own. This is just something I saw somewhere. I don't remember where I picked it up. Some areas like to stir the bucket for the singing call. I want to do a stir the bucket. Um, and I'm going to do it as follows. First, we're going to focus on somebody like this couple here. We want to get them stirred over there. So to do the stir, actually, I'm going to stir it in the other direction, apparently. What do I know? Let's do a four ladies chain. That's the setup. And at this point, I'm going to ask all the dancers to take like half a step straight ahead. So you Good. And look at your original partner straight across the square from you. And don't move, but we're going to do a star through with them. So hold up, boys right hand, girls left hand, touching in that arch. And it's a little, you can, don't turn your body. Good. You got the, okay, this is a mess uh, for the tape. The square is not doing what I'm wanting. Um, <laughs> but they did what the words said, because words are a horrible way to communicate ideas. I want just you and your partner to be touching your star through hands. And you know, good, now they're doing better. There's like a basket weave there. And you have to wonder who goes over and under each other. And in this case, I want the guy to go over the next set of hands and under the next set. So they're very close. Good, they're fixing it. Got over and then one, good. Has everyone got it? Okay, we're about to do the big move. Took a lot of setup. All at the same time, I want you to stay connected and walk forward and do a star through. On your mark, get set, go. And you've stirred the bucket. Give them a hand. Have them sit down. That's all there is to it. But I've always liked those basket weavy things and the tangled and untangled and so forth. So it was simply a lady's chain. Everyone take a step forward, and you're going to do a star through. But you have to have the guy's hand go over the first people, under the next. It makes a little basket weave. You can all do it at the same time. The hands go up, the hands go down, and boom, you've moved. Here's Bill. <laughs> so one I've got, I need two squares. I need one square in the middle and then a square behind them. Run quickly. This one I call around the sun. Around the sun. It's an easy one. Uh, I started doing this during our, our um, basic and mainstream class graduations many years ago. And since it, all the new dancers are involved in it, the, uh, they, can, uh, they can participate and have fun. So what we're going to do here, who, we, yeah, I need a couple of, what we're going to do here is we're going to, the people in the center are the sun. The ones behind them are going to go around them. So as we're dancing, uh, we're going to start off first in tandem. So you know to put your hand on the shoulder for, for you. All right. So uh, up to the middle and back you'll go and then. 
Now stay in tandem, all the ladies chain across. And you turn them halfway around the ring, and then after you turn, remember to stay in tandem. Stay in tandem, stay in tandem. Yeah, you gotta stay in tandem. All right, so uh, chain the lady across again. And it's tight here. For the tape, this is a very tight room for what we're going to be doing today. All right. At, at this point, we've finished a sequence. <laughs> we've finished a sequence. So I want the tandem dancers to step up to the left-hand side of the person in front of you and put your arm around them. Yeah. So become si – right. There you go. All right. So now you're going to work as – you're going to work as a couple, as a unit of one. All right. Heads walk up to the middle and back, and then heads start with your right hand. Square through four hands. <laughs> Some of you have a right hand. <laughs> everybody pass through. Now stay Siamese like this, and then everybody do a U-turn back. You're Siamese, you're Siamese. Pass through, start with the right hand and a right and left grand. Run like the wind. You can twirl if they want to. Then promenade home. So you've done another sequence. Then the original trailing dancer will stand in front of the other person to become a new tandem there and put your hand on, on them. All right, all the heads past the ocean. Uh, oh, go back, go back. So remember, the girls are working as unit one, the boys are working as unit one. You're not coupled, so, so you have to split it, right? All right, past the ocean. Exactly. Stay in tandem. Great. All right. So you should be in tandem. Great. All right. Stay in tandem. Swing through. Boys run. So, since it's so tight, I'm not having you do anything on the side. Chain down the line. Do in tandem. <laughs> That's fixed. And you should be home or not. All right. So at this point, we've completed another sequence, and those original tandems are going to step backwards to the right-hand side of the person you're with. So you're back in Siamese again, and working. you're working using the one. Sides walk up to the middle and back. Sides to a left square through four. Alaman left, and you bow to the partner in the corner, too. So once you've gone all the way around the sun, you can finish it off, and you're done. Ready, Clark? You, want, you still need a square up, right? Keep up. All right. Okay. We're going to put Bill in the square because Bill wants to feel this. Um, here's how I normally set this up. Can you guys make two normal squares side by side? I know it'll be tight, but don't worry. We aren't going to dance it. Yep. So the, I'm going to show you hashtag squares. I don't have a write-up on my website yet, but I will put something up there. Um, I've done this in the hallway at Color Lab before, but here we are in the program. I want the square directly in front of me to have the heads past the ocean. I want the – oh, unpass the ocean. I'm a complete idiot. I want all the girls in one square and all the boys in the other square. Just mix it around. Make a girl's square and a boy's square. I don't even have a brain today. Okay, girls square have the heads past the ocean. Boys square have the sides past the ocean. Extend the tag. So if you're imagining on the tape, we have a square of girls and right-hand waves. They're facing the side walls. We have a square of boys facing the head walls. I want you to move your squares so that the flagpole centers are on top. Just merge the squares. Slide them in toward the middle. You have to raise some hands, blah, blah, blah. You'll have a little pinwheel in each corner, a little star in each corner. Okay, 
Okay. And you can spread yourselves out a little bit so you have some space. Make sure the girls are holding left hands in the middle of their wave. Good. Okay. Well, the, there's some girls in the middle holding lefts. Great. This is the main formation we want to talk about. If you were to look at this from the ceiling, it would look like a little hashtag, right? Now, what we are going to do, in a sense, is really, or a pound sign, is really pretty elementary. We're going to have the girls in their square do some dancing. Simultaneously, we're going to have the boys in their square do some dancing, and we're not going to kill anybody or get in anybody's way. Um, taking a step away from teaching it, the thing that's fun about this that hopefully they'll see and you'll see from the side, but you, it's, you have to be there to experience it, is the dancing feels really different and you keep getting these aha moments as you're learning it and building up. So, first thing we want to do, let's start, good, ocean wave calls work well. Let's try a swing through. Swing through, you turn half by the right, and some people turn half by the left. And make sure you still have your waves and stars, right. Do another swing through. Oh, someone had that aha moment, I heard it. Are we okay? Now, if I were doing this for real, I might do a few more of those to make sure everyone gets it. Um, I have worked with a floor of hashtags who don't know me before, but usually it's just one that I'm watching. Or actually, as a caller, I like being in it and teaching it from within the square. So if you had two squares one night and wanted to do something different, this would be the kind of thing you could do. Um, uh, so we've done the swing through stuff. Uh, we could do all eight circulate. This gets a little... Um, confusing for people, so maybe I will start with just the center circulate. Do you see who the center four are? Oh, they're all ready to go. Center circulate, they all did it. Wow. S look, we're going to do it again. Ready? Center circulate. Now you've had both. Good. Okay, remember the boys are only working with boys. Girls only with girls. Er er ends, are you okay doing it? This is going to be a little tight. Yeah, and you're, if you're looking out, you're going way over to the guy looking in. You see where you're going. Timing's a little off, but go. All eight or ends circulate. And that gives you an anchor. You see how she has to get around him, right? Okay, we're now this time it will be the other way at the corner. Ready? And circulate. The girl got there first. The boy has to kind of, in this, in some of the, yeah, yeah, see? They aren't always your friends. Yeah, exactly. So we could have everyone circulate at the same time, right? Because we've done enough of them. Got your target. All eight circulate. Cool. Swing through. You want to do it from here? Now we have new ends and centers. Everyone thinking about where they're going? If you're a trailer, if you're facing in, you just have to go forward to that lead spot. Ready? All eight circulate. And we still have good. Swing through just because it's dancing and you're happy. Um, sometimes I go to two-face line stuff for a minute, so let's progress there for a sec. Not everything flows or dances well, and as a caller, you have to learn which ones are good or bad and how to start simple and work your way up. Um, but I like something that happens here, so we're going to give it a try. We want, Don't move. We want to do a center's run. Do you see who you're running around? Are you marked? The best you can, center's run. Good. And now you're hooked on to your same gender with a couple. It can be very disorienting to be in the middle of the mess. So at this point, do you see your two face lines? Good. We're about to do couples circulate. One of the problems is you're kind of tangled up with the, the enemies. So someone's going to have to like raise their hands or let go or whatever. Why don't we have the boys be on top just in each little good because they're taller on average. Ready? Couples circulate. You get rid of these people. You go over to where you want to go. And lo and behold, there they are again. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> right. Let's do another one. You'll have a different part. Ready? Couples circulate. You get rid of these people. Some are going straight. And then just when you get there, bang, there they are in your way again. Careful, where's your two-face line? Think good, situational awareness, excellent. Good. Do we need to, pra normally I would practice that a couple more times with them. I don't think we have time to spend an hour working on this, but um, is everyone thinking about where they'd go and bend the line? Bend the line. Ooh. Unbend the line. 
Did you notice the whole thing can turn and no one gets tangled? Bend the line. That's kind of one of those aha moments. Now we have a problem. We have lines, and there aren't a lot of good calls from lines. We don't want to be doing load the boat right now. So, and even a call, well, this would give you your four beats forward and four beats back and up to the middle and back wouldn't quite work so well. But to get back to those safe ocean waves that I want, I'm thinking a call like past the ocean could work. Everyone sees who you're facing for the pass through. And we don't normally follow the rules on past the ocean, but this is a time where it helps. Don't move. We're going to want to pass through. We're going to fa face that person and then step up to right hands. Ready? Pass the ocean. Pass through, straight through, just walk, walk, walk. Face that person, step to a right hand wave. Yeah, see, Mike was being polite and waiting for all the traffic to clear, and then he got there late. Yeah. It's okay. We're back to waves. Swing through just to make sure they remember how to dance. Well, there's a bunch of ocean wave calls we have. Name an ocean wave call on mainstream. We aren't going to do that. Name an ocean wave call that starts in ocean waves and ends in ocean waves. Oh, Bill says spin chain through. Let's do a spin chain through. Okay, we're going to go slow. Everyone turn half. If you're on the end, you're through. Centers who have left hands go three quarters. Stop. Now, look, there's a center star of four that we've never had before. The star turns halfway, and then you meet same gender in this case, and then go three-quarter, and we're all back together. Ooh. Did that feel cool? Let's. This will give the other people that chance. Spin chain through. Half. Some people three-quarters. The rest are through. And then wait for the middle. Make sure there's four of you. Turn half. And then three-quarters. Awesome. Everybody's good. Well, oh, did I hear a request for spin chain the gears? Are all of you comfortable with spin chain the gears? You aren't? You're going to learn a new call. Okay. Um, so it ends up that spin chains the gears works, but we need to work up to it a little bit because you're going to see something you haven't seen before. So let's go slow. Spin chain the gears. Turn half. Centers three quarters, and the others turn around. The center four trade through that star in the middle, and stop. At this point, we need to have left hand stars. Notice the people who turned around, and we need four boys and a star and four girls. And you have to kind of slide past each other and make sure every girl is in a girl star and every boy is in a boy star. And they're getting there, they're getting there. And notice that these stars are in a place we've never had our stars before. They're not in the four corners of the square. They're in the, I don't have a good, they're on the heads and sides spots, kind of. At this point, you only have your same gender in the star. Turn the star three spots. And I'm going to give you a recommendation. The centers are going to trade, no problem. The people who flip out, you're going to flip out to your right. You see who the flip outers are? You guys flip out to your right, go, and then the center four trade if they haven't, and then those who meet go left three quarters. We have some flip outers that didn't flip out yet. There, she's got it, and they're trying to have you come toward me. Whoa. Whew. That that was spin chain the gears eventually. Let's do it once more because practice is perfect. Spin chain the gears. Turn them half. Three quarters, and the others turn around, moving in, sliding in. Where's your star while well, the centers trade? The centers are trading. The centers are trading. And we have left-hand stars. Make sure you got four people, same gender. Turn the stars. One, two, three. Some people meet. If you aren't going to do anything, you have to flip out, flip to your right like a run. You'll become the end. And reassemble. And okay. They're looking like we can have the, the exhibition group will be at the banquet tonight, right? You guys remember? They'll think you're smart. Okay. Um, what's the next call you learn after spin chain the gears? Oh, exchange. Cool. Ends up that a lot of these just work. Okay. Are we ready for spin chain exchange the gears? Don't move. Who is the mama duck who leads the exchange usually? The person who's in the center of the wave looking out. Do you guys see all who you are, the center of the wave facing out? 
Okay. And remember, when that person's leading their star, you've got to have three people following them. Don't be a leader with no one following you. Let's see what happens. Spin shank, change the gears. Let's get up to that point. Turn half. Center's three quarters. The others turn around. While the centers are trading, those who turn around have to slide in and make your stars. Do we have the stars? Wait, wait. We don't have the stars. Four people in each star. Everyone's happy. Turn the stars. Go. One, two, three. When you lead out, walk around the whole set. Don't walk through anybody. She's walking through people. Walk way around the whole mess. Keep going further than you think, and then just kind of unwrap it and flip in it. It magically assembles into a mess. Oh, we almost did it. Okay. It should be a right-hand mess. It, it should be a right-hand mess. Should be a right-hand mess. Should be a good. Okay. So that was close. And a neat thing is, if you have squares that make mistakes, am I going to resolve them? No. I don't care what happens. If they just have to fix it and just make a wave of girls and a wave of guys, they're going again. So no one breaks down. You just put people in. Let's try that spin change, change the gears and make it work. Turn half. Three quarters. Some people turn around. They're going to slide in while the centers are trading. Make sure we have four same-gendered left-hand stars. Centers are trading. The situation, good. Turn the stars. One, two, three. The person who leads out, lead way around the whole mess. Go about as far as you need to. Make sure your laptop doesn't get knocked off by the. And then flip the thing in. Unwrap it. How does it flip in? It's the same feel. Ooh, did that look better? Okay. What do they get? They get one clap for that? Any more? That's good. That's clapping. That's not one clap. Okay, uh, name me another ocean wave to ocean wave plus call. Oh, Relay the Deucey. Hopefully you've taught Relay the Deucey is a buddy call. The person you're holding on is your buddy. That You're going to follow them. You're only going to touch them when you get on, when you get off. You're going to end with them, the whole mess, right? You guys are good with it, so keep your eye on it. There are going to be some people who are your not your friends. Don't let them like get in your way or anything. Don't run anybody down. Deep breath, relay the deucey, turn half, the end start walking, centers three quarters, then we go six trade, four trades, four trading, good, 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 six trade, get on there, get on, oh, 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 he, okay, four trade, and you go three quarters, and can I open my eyes, oh, look, look, it did it, I know it wasn't perfect, yep, so let's make sure we have waves of boys and waves of girls. Okay, we're going to go again, because that wasn't perfect. Yeah, yeah, and only your gender, right? And no boy should touch a girl and vice versa, especially at getting on and off that big wave, because they're your enemies, right? So I, you, got, you got a little lost here. You're coming around the end. So Bob's going to do it better this time, and we're going to be perfect. Uh, Relay the Deucey was the call. Go, half. Three quarters, the others start walking. Same gender gets on. Six go. Four go. There's your buddy. Six go. And then left three quarter, and the other move up. Oh, there you go. So you can do relay the deucey. Um, really? So before we do it one more time, let me make this point. As a person who used to do a lot of challenge dancing and this and that would catch on to things quickly, whenever I do stuff like this, I'm always afraid they're going to get bored. You know how even as callers, we're afraid the newcomers are going to get bored. They've never seen it. They aren't going to get bored. So he wants to do it one more time because he's mastering it. There's no problem with spending 15 minutes getting Relay the Deucey to work unless you have someone like me in the square going, I figured it out the first time, right? <laughs> so, so, and I've learned this in contra dancing also. When you teach complicated things, the dance repeats 8, 10, 15 times. There's fun and joy into getting good at something that you mastered and getting the timing and the sense of a, a whole cooperative mess going at the same time. Go. Relay the deucey. Half. Three quarters. Start going. Six go. Not yet. Keep, you're going to jump on the end right there, Bob. Six go, and then look for a guy three quarters. Now Bob's got it. Okay. Yay. Okay. 
Um, we could do, we aren't going to. We did circulates. We can do split circulates. We can do scoot backs. Those are all ocean wave to ocean wave calls. We could even do follow your neighbors. Um, we could do trade the waves. But someone earlier mentioned spin the top. Since this will give us a different shape and the shapes are the cool things, do a spin the top. We want to, of course, have the room to be at the end of it, but, but. And this kind of unengaged everything, and this is what a tidal wave looks like. Since we have a tidal wave, there's only one call we do. Grand swing through. Go for it. Right, left. And this would be better if we had more room. Let's get out of the tidal wave, spin the top, each wave. Half, three quarters, and here's where you have to re-engage. Good. Good, yeah, I know. Yeah, when you get lost, you get really lost, trust me. Swing through. Um, I didn't say anything about the stars. Most of you are dancing them as what in contra dancing we call hands across star. In other words, the two guys are holding hands, the two girls, but you aren't making a clumpy star. I like those. I think those have good connection and feel good. Um, we need to talk about diamonds. How do you guys normally get diamonds? You'd either split circulate once and a half. I'm afraid to do that with because I haven't worked split circulate. We could have the centers run and the new centers hinge. That one might be a good way to get there. We could switch to a diamond, but they don't know it. Let's have the centers run around an end. The end dodges over. All these things that we're going to do today kind of test you on the basics and your knowledge of dancing. So you learn little things. Even your little tandem and couples thing, we saw like, well, how does ladies chain? And uh, yeah, okay. Um, and did you notice on ladies chain when we were doing the orbits with the tandem, as a guy, I had to courtesy turn. I moved sideways and started to turn partway so I could receive the lady and do the courtesy turn. If you don't dance with that kind of styling and you just stand there flat-footed, then you have more problems doing a tandem courtesy turn. So it really helps you when you have good dance skills. We have not made diamonds yet, but they're just about to be made. Ready? Each line centers hinge. Ooh, diamonds. Okay, they're a little hard to see. The boys are in a diamond. The girls are in a diamond. Actually, the boys have two diamonds. And of course, with diamonds, we have a wave across the middle. Just to establish that, let's have the center wave swing through. Right and left. Now I confused you. Where is your diamond? You see it? Four of you? Everyone's happy? Diamonds circulate. Uh, that was close. Do you see your diamond? Make sure you have four of you in it. OK. See, okay, here we go again. Diamond circulate. Practice makes perfect. Everyone has an idea for where you should go. Yeah. We're going to do, okay, we're still practicing. Diamond circulate. Yep. Okay. And we're going to do our last one. Oh, uh, now we have Bob. Stop lying to Bob. You got it? Okay. Fourth one for sure. Ready? Diamond circulate. Yeah. Now, do you know when you first teach diamonds, they're disorienting for the dancers because there's these people who can't hang on? Obviously, these are disorienting for the dancers too. Let's have the center four, the very center, the very centers, there's four of you, hinge by the left, and you turn back. Anybody know what this is? This is an hourglass. We are not going to do anything with our hourglass because, because hourglasses are even less connected than diamonds, and it's very hard to see. But just for the purpose of our square, all the boys raise your hand, and you see those four boys, they actually have an hourglass. You can put your hands down. But in an hourglass, we know that the center four have a diamond. Do we see the center diamond? There's four boys in a diamond and four girls in a diamond. Center diamond, diamond circulate. Good. You want to do that one once more? Ready? Center diamond, diamond circulate. Okay. And the way we get out of diamonds is flipping, right? Center diamond, flip the diamond. Points flip in. Good, good. You got it. Okay. And now we're back to normal diamonds. Do we see our normal diamonds? Normal diamonds, flip the diamonds. Some diamonds circulate, some flip in. And with any luck, I'm all the way back. Okay. Um, we have a question, uh, but but you can't say it. 
I don't care what your question is. I care about this. <laughs> the magic microphone. This will be Eric Henderlaw. He probably is going to turn on the mic. and. This is Eric Henderlaw. Yes, that's right. My only question, I've seen this walkthrough before, too. This is great. I want to see you do it to music. Do we do this to music? Um, when I did it for like 45 minutes in a session at the um, National Convention, I would turn music on and off as we got good. So, yeah, turn the music on. It's a little bassy. We're underwater. It's okay. He's going to fix it. Swing through. Swing through. It's quiet music. It's um, John Cage, yeah. I'm about to do scoot back because you guys haven't done a scoot back yet. If you're looking out, you just flip over to your right. If you're looking in, you see who you're scooting with. It's another girl with a girl, guy with a guy. Just walk forward. You'll find him. Turn half. Come back. You're going to get your buddy right again. Ready? Everybody scoot back while we're waiting for the music. In. Turn half. Come back. And you better have right hands to the same person. Woohoo! Good job. Swing through. Ooh, do we know AC Ducey? That's where the centers trade and the outside circulate. AC Ducey. So you can drop in a bunch of these without doing a lot of teaching. Swing through. Oh, I like this one. This is Kayla Ray. Boy run. I'm oh, sorry, it's center run. My bad. Center run. Yep. We have the couples. Make sure you got your couple. Centers trade. Get rid of him. Couples circulate. Bend that line. Go forward and back. Okay. Pause the music for a sec. Does the girls have a line of four? Do the boys have a line of four? You got this is situational awareness. What's your formation look like? Boys, you see your lines? If I ask the boys on the outside to load the boat, you pass three boys face in, no problem. If I ask the girls on the outside, you're going to pass, see your girls on the outside, three people face in. The hard part is the victims in the middle. Well, I learned from hexagon dancing, which we'll talk about in a minute, that there's a better way to teach the center's part of load the boat. And I teach it this way, and it may help you for what you're about to do. Center four, unload the boat. Straight across from you is a person. Do you see that person? The first three things we do is going to be with that person, so don't lose them. Don't do it yet. I'd normally have them do it. But you're going to pass through with them. You're going to turn your back on someone so they become your partner. That person you're facing, you're going to pass through, turn your back. They're your partner. Partner trade with them. That's your third thing. And then straight ahead is a fourth person to pass through. This will be a little bit of a mess. Turn the music on because they wanted to dance. Load the boat. Ends pass three people. Centers pass through. Turn your back on someone. Grab beside you. Where's that person beside you? Trade with them. Pass through with a new person. And everyone should be nose to nose with same gender. And we're in an eight chain through formation. Pause. One of the problems with eight chain through is there's lots of ways to dance it. And in eight chain through, you want to be close, side by side close to someone. Yet the stars we're about to put you in don't do that. So um, I don't generally do much with columns unless people really want it. You guys are all standing on what looks like almost Bill's, um, what do you call that thing? The first thing you did, Bill. The sun, the sun thing. But yeah, we're all, we almost have a square in the middle that's turned back to back and some people on the outside facing them. This is nice, and they all danced it the same way. This is not what I want. So here's where I want, and I have to use words in case they're on the tape trying to figure it out. And by the way, on the tape, you could have just gotten your, your 16 people up and done this with the tape playing just at the same speed these guys are doing it. That's how I would have done it. Here's what I want you to do. See the person you're facing? You're going to stay facing them with about that spacing. Each corner of the square, you're going to adjust the boys and girls so the, the center spot between the boys and the center spot between the girls is exactly the same, and you're basically in stars. Go ahead and wiggle around putting those stars together. Not all of you know what I meant, but hopefully one person in each one did it. Good, good, good. See, it takes some square cooperation. Yeah. 
everyone has a different learning and dancing style, and this is going to accentuate some of those styles and be really confusing for other ones. This is what I would call the eight chain through position. Okay? What calls do we have from the eight chain through position? There is eight chain through. So we'll do that, and then maybe I'll quit. Uh, no. Uh, maybe I, right. Yeah. Okay. So when we do the pull by, do you see a person straight across from you? Shake right hands with the person you're going to pull by with. That's good. We're going to walk straight through, and that star will turn slightly, but keep going up and down or across. That's hand number one. In the middle, a left, and the courtesy turn is a really wide courtesy turn. Give them lots of time for that. Lots of turn. Yeah, go ahead. You're turning, Mike. Keep going, keep going, and then spread yourselves out so he's far away from you. Ready for hand three. Uh, you need a star. You need a star. There's four of you. Hand three. Oh, well, forget the star. Train left. Pull by. Yep. Courtesy turn for four. Let's stop at four. Let's stop at four and let everyone get settled up. You should be right. Are we Okay. Okay, we're going to do the music now because they're going to do the second half of 8 Chain 8 really well. We got, you're looking up and down the column. Courtesy turns are nice and wide. Ready? 8 Chain 4. Go. Right hand pull. Left through the middle. Here comes hand 3. E and then the courtesy turn. 4. And you're still looking at those people. Everyone's happy? Yay. Battle of the partners. Corners all. You can pause that. I do not have a way of resolving or ending what I do. If anyone comes up with a clever way to have everyone thank everybody or resolve something, I'm all ears. So that would be hashtag squares. Here's Bill. So is there a new group of victims that wants to come up? We need, we need two squares worth, but, but don't form squares yet. We're going to do a kaleidoscope square just because it's not really scary. But here's what I'd like you to do. Because of the size limitation and for the tape, we're only going to have half of a kaleidoscope. So I want, facing the back wall, I want a square starting with a couple one, then two behind them, then three behind them, and then four behind them. All right? We've got some division on who's a couple and who's a person. <laughs> All right, so I want you all to, if you've got your set there, I want you all to scooch over to your left as far as you can there. And then I want another square facing my left of the exit wall in the same lineup, couple one, couple two, couple three, and couple four. I want you to be like you're in a, all the way up, like a big L. Oh, what the L? What the L? So if here's, here's what I want you to visualize because we're just going to do symmetrical stuff. There is another group of eight dancers facing each group that you have there. So who's done kaleidoscope squares before? They're pretty. They're not difficult, but you see them and say, wow, how in the heck do we do that? Well, so we've got the squares there. So everybody knows their couple number one, two, three, four, correct? All right, I want couple one and three to California twirl in each group. So we get to play with those people just like that and do an eight chain four. <laughs> pass through, trade by, pass to the center, and centers pass through, and you should be back to where you were. All right, so everybody star through. So just to get you the, the gist of what's going on here, remember there are another two groups of squares there on either side, and you're making a perfect star kind of thing there. All right, I want you to pass through. Now, at this point, the caller will say, move on instead of bend the line. So you're going to just move up to the next group there. And you've now got a diagonal star in, rather than that. So the people who are hanging out doing nothing, I want you to just pretend there's a phantom square there. All right? Phantom square there. All right. All right. <laughs> Do the right and left through. All right? Pass through. Move on. So you're facing the same couple. Great. Perfect. All right. Slide through. Alaman left. 
So that's the basic concept of how a kaleidoscope would work there. And then cut, uh, don't don't square don't square it up. You have to get to. Yeah, and then uh, I, I said Alaman left, didn't I? By accident. All right, so forget that. So uh, couple number one and three, California twirl, and that's where it starts. All right. So if I say zoom rather than grand zoom, I only want you to zoom in your group of four. So if there's four and four, right? All right, everybody zoom and center in each uh, zoom again just for fun. Yay. Everybody face in, star through. <laughs> all right. Do a grand zoom. That means the lead couple goes all the way back. The other go. All right. Everybody California twirl. Great. Uh, couple number one, make an arch back over the others. All of them, yes. All of them. A grand substitute. Great. Everybody face in. Slide through. Right. Uh, couples two and four, California twirl. Hopefully there's a cor corner. All right. So couple number one and three, California twirl or partner trade. And there you go. That's that's the concept of this. So if you've never seen a kaleidoscope working, that's how it essentially work. And you've got everybody going there. So uh, one and three, do a partner trade. Slide through. Pass through. Move on. Touch a quarter. This will be fun because we're going to do a coordinate. <laughs> and for the tape, I may not get you home, all right? <laughs> yes, there's four people to the right of all those loose people, all the people that are loose. Can, can you visualize it? All right. So find somebody in this square that has a real, real grouping and follow them if you need to. Great. Everybody coordinate. Chain down the line. Great. Pass through. Move on. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't. <laughs> All right. So let's get that far group over here to face this other group over here. Just so we need to let's make two lines for each group in an L. Where are the girls? Just make normal facing couples at this point so we can move on with this. Yeah, just, just make that. So just make an L. Just make an L there. All right. All right. Uh, touch a quarter. All eight circulate. Boys run around the girls. Dive through. Center, star through. Same four, pass through, partner trade. Same four, pass through, and you all move on. Great. Pass through. <laughs> I know it's hard since we don't have everybody there, so there we go. Yeah, they should be, they should be not at an angle at this point because you aren't either. Yes. It's hard to see since we don't have all the groups there. So everybody's square your set like you started originally. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the move on puts you 45 degrees off. So there you go. It'd be really tight, wouldn't it? Well, maybe. Well, let, let's just play with this because I'm going to move on. We're starting to limit our time here. Great. California, uh, one and three, California twirl. Touch a quarter. Follow your neighbor and spread. Ladies trade. Recycle. Pass to the center. Centers go right and left through. Slide through. Star through. Go right and left through. <laughs> pass through couples one and three California twirl everybody face somebody bow to the partner in your corner two that's that quick introduction to how a kaleidoscope works yes Clark yeah all right so we need somebody to be where Clark was don't don't go away don't go away I just wanted to say one more thing so 
some of the cool stuff to me when we do like a kaleidoscope square, it's fun to work in your group of four and have four or a group of eight and have eight of you. But it's when you interact with the next one that you get the kind of endorphin rush. And we didn't couldn't do it too much, but we had the um, pass, the lines facing pass through move along that gave you that opportunity. Here was the one other opportunity. You're squared up, right? You're all lined in. Couples one and three, California twirl. Okay, so each arm of the star or whatever we've got has an eight chain through setup. You can do a giant eight chain through where you change the rule as you hit the center, instead of going across or anything, you go just around the corner. And we're gonna run out of dancers as we try to do it, but do you get that idea? Yeah. Cool, so just start doing it, we'll see what happens. Eight chain 32, one, two, three, go around the corner when you go through, four, five, watching, oh, we just lost free electron over there in the brown shirt. <laughs> Six, okay, and give him a big hand. <laughs> that that's a good way to clear the floor for the break. All right, so let's get to uh, Dottie has something. The really other Dottie Wells from Nova Scotia. The really other neat thing is to do a, a double pass through and cloverleaf kind of deal. Yes, it makes it a perfect flower unfurling. All right, so one of the one of the dance forms that I've been doing for a long time now, for 30 years or so, is the hexagon. And uh, uh, just a quick story on what that is. If you didn't get a flyer, I have some flyers on the back, or it's on my website uh, and Vic Cedar's website. But the hexagon started developing because I was doing performance teams in the in the mid 80s, and we were using Lloyd Shaw's da cowboy dances as our as our thing, and I wanted to expand it and find things we could do other things. And in the July 1986 or American Square Dance magazine, there was an article called Triangle Squares, and it showed what is essentially a hexagon. So let's get 12 people up here, and if you have not done a hexagon, raise your hand. Oh, cool, virgins. <laughs> we always like that. So the key thing I want to have happen here, and the, the reason I'm doing this is to explain some of the things you need to know if you're going to do this, because it's really quite easy. I want a couple number one with their back to me as if they are a normal couple. All right, so are there six couples up? You have seven couples? Oh, that's, that's different. <laughs> All right. So we're not doing septagons. All right. So the thing you need to do is you need to stress for a lot of people, and not so much anymore, but it used to be people thought a hexagon was a rectangle, and a rectangle is four heads and two sides. At this point, I would tell the dancers that every couple is facing another couple straight across from them. And the couple number one is still in their normal position just like they would, and everybody has to adjust to them. So is everybody pointing at another couple? And you see you've got a perfect six-sided. All right. So starting with couple number one, that couple and every alternating couple step into the middle. And for the sake of argument, I'm just going to call you the heads. And I used to try other things, but it seems like heads is going to work best. There you go. So you are the heads. All right, back away. And the others are, of course, the sides. So all the sides move in. All right, so back away. Now, I'm going to divulge a bit and tell you a little bit about the history. About uh, uh, 15 years ago, Clark got involved with hexagons, too. And what he would do is he would create the hexagon in the back of a hall, I believe, in a four-couple choreographed dance situation. So he would have the caller just calling regular four-couple stuff, and the six couples in the back would dance it. Now, the thing that doesn't happen is that you often don't end up, end up with your partner. You have to use the timing of the four couples. So in uh, teacup chain would be only 32 counts, but it's different with the way I call it. So uh, here's what I want you to do. All the heads step in. Now to do the calls in any any way that makes any sense, you're going to have to turn slightly away from your partner to face somebody to do the next normal calls, all right? Star through. Then California twirl. So when you do something in the middle, you're in a triangle. And at this point, you're either facing another couple directly, or you as a couple have your back or front facing the big gaping hole there. All right? Alaman left. 
In hex, you're set, and you're back. <laughs> so far, so good. All the sides step in. And since we're callers, we're <laughs> so remember, you have to turn a little bit away from your partner to do to start the execution of the call. Let's see, who's who's Clark's partner? All right. Do the right and left through. So do a right pull by, courtesy turn, and then there is a back. You've got the breeze. You've got the hospital sheet behind you, and there's a breeze behind you. Great. All right. All the centers star through. Now, when it gets a little funky, is, and I've noticed this with dancers, is the concept of pass-through or a double pass-through feels weird. Think of everybody is in a column, and your column is on your own side. The boys are in tandem there, and the girls are in tandem, and point to that column just so you can see there. So if I just have the centers to pass through, you're going to pass through and adjust yourselves directly to face the outside too. So you're always triangle there. Now at this point, I'm going to tell you, you can do this in your home club. You've got three couples in the center. They are a triangle of dancers, so you all California twirl. Now, is your back to somebody? You're perfect. All right, so we're going to do a double pass through at this point. So everybody double pass through, go all the way through. Is that your stockbroker? All right. All right, so since we're advanced callers and we know everything, we're going to do a track two in a minute, in a minute. So just think it's the same normal thing, but you have to stay on the edge of your arc as you're going around there. So slowly do a track two. Ooh, two, and you end up with right-handed ocean waves. All right, so you're in a... We've got a loose one there. All right, so, and we're still triangle there. All right, everybody do a single hinge. All right, uh, now we're going to do a scoot back. So all of the boys are facing in. So the rule we're going to use is that the boy, you're going to use the, do we have, do we have three people? Let's do it. Let's do an all six scoot back just because it's entertaining me. Now we're going to do, remember when you do a scoot back, isn't that the purpose of being a caller to be entertained? All right. When you do a scoot back, remember you're going to come back to exactly the same person you're with now. All right. Yes. So you make a star in the middle boys. So all, all six boys do a scoot back. All boys. Girls flip over as normal, meet the same one. There you go. Move up to the right hand. Boys run around the girls. Great. Join hands, circle to the left. Lady center, gent sachet. Alaman left with whoever's there. And then promenade. You may not get home, but we're not getting there yet. We're just showing the concepts. Promenade home to your original home. And we did it. Now, I'm going to show you a teacup chain here. Uh, we can do all kinds of basic things, but I think we're, we're ready to move on to that. Now, if you were doing the what we call the Clark Baker version of the hexagons, where it's six couples in the back, you're only going to do it as a normal teacup chain. So the boys are, are going to stay in place, but the girls are only going to progress four people. The way I call it is that, or I call it to resolve. So we're going to do a full teacup chain, and you're going to end up with your original partner. A couple of the caveats, at the end, it's a right arm turn. So you want to do it kind of like you're finishing a roll promenade in place. And three of the couples will be about eight beats behind the other three couples. So three couples will have finished and the other three. So remember the rule for a teacup chain? Ladies, you're going to progress to your right, one person, and you're going to turn either, in this case, five sixths or seven sixths around to get. So you don't want a shortcut and just go to the next person immediately. Yes, the heads are going to work together. So head ladies, you know who you are? And side ladies, you know who you are. All right, so square your, uh, hex your set right there. Now, I will tell you that at this point, I've found that I need to stress to the people who are playing the gentleman's role that they are much more important in turning the person to the right person because normally you sleepwalk through it with four couples. So the boys are just like... <laughs> They're going out for a cigarette or whatever. So, All right. So the boys, head boys, who are you? So you have to know that you're the ones that turn them into the middle. Side boys, you know you turn them to the head boy to your right. So let's do this in slow motion to get started. Head lady center with a teacup chain side lady to the right. New head ladies into the middle three girls all the way around. And a little bit more and keep on going. New head ladies all the way around and a little bit more. 
Remember, the ladies are progressing to the next gent, so are they getting dizzy yet? There you go. And remember, you're not going to finish like normal. It'll be a right arm turn to get into place. So just kind of right arm turn on there. All right. How'd that feel? Give our pros a big hand there. All right. Sides move in and star through. California twirl. So he did an eight chain through with the with the uh, the other thing. Oh, you can do that with a hex. But it's it's e much easier here with a hexagon there. You just have to know that once you come into the middle, you go around the arc. Yes, stay away from, yeah, Andy Alamay always says stay away from that black hole in the center. There is a gaping hole and you don't want to go into it or you'll be sucked into the bowels of the earth. All right, so do an eight chain four. Good. Almost good. <laughs> Alaman left. Swing your original partner. I can't remember who's going with who. So the promenade home. All right. Yeah, your original partner. I'm going to do a little bit more, and then we'll turn it back over to Clark for more fun and games. Uh, so you can do almost every call that you normally can do. And, again, the, the purpose of the way that I do the hexagons is to resolve the square as if it is a normal square situation. Uh, you can call an entire dance with hexagon if you want in your home club, and you'll either drive them insane and they'll t chase you away or they'll really enjoy it. Great. So y you can do a singing call with it. Remember, if you do a singing call with a hexagon, you need to do seven figures in one break. All right? So all the heads square through six. There's six figures, yeah, six figures and one break. Or five figures in one break. Five figures in one break. It's six. 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 I'm saying the wrong words. Over so the tape, it's five figures in one break. Great. The Alamant left. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking hexagon. Yes, yeah, six figures in one break. All right. Sides move in to the middle. Now, there are some little tricky things you can do with the triangles that you need to know about. Uh, if we're just playing with the center three dancers, or if you're doing this just with only three couples facing, you can do couples uh, calls like pass the ocean, any basic call that you normally would do. The rule for a pass the ocean that we're using is that you're going to meet the person you're with right now holding with the right hand on the opposite side of the square. So you have to get over there. So you're going to turn a little bit away from your partner. Then pass the ocean. Pass through, meet the same person on the other side. And you're holding a right hand. Girls are in a left-hand triangle, and boys are on the outside. All right? So when you do a swing through, the, the way I call it, you, if I just say swing through, the trade is one-third in the middle. The girls are in the middle. Girls in the middle. You're Okay. Except the boys are more or less in between the other couple there. All right, there you go. So if I just say the call swing through, what I want the dancers to do is swing half by the right and turn one-third to the next person, and a third would be the trade. All right, so you've done the swing through. If I say big swing through is half by the right, go, then turn and pass one and get the next one. So you're turning two-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds. All right, great. Uh, that group in the middle? Face your original partner, back away, and thank them all. So that's our quick demo on hexagons. So if you have any questions on that so far. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, there. I'm sorry. You just reminded me of something else I, I didn't tell you. There's three parts of the, the hexagons. You're in a big circle now. You can do Alaman left and Alaman dar everything that you would normally do. You can also do facing couples rules. So everybody, uh, all the heads move into the middle and square through four or six. Do it six because it's pretty lovely. Five, six. Touch a quarter. Now the setup here is now you've got boxes of four. So you can just do regular box of four calls as normal. So follow your neighbor. Spread. Ladies trade, recycle, pass to the center, center's partner trade, Alaman left, and 
Hexer set. Now, what uh, what uh, Jeff was asking about was doing a triple sc for a scoot back. So I want all the heads to move into the middle and touch a quarter. So the boys are looking in, the girls are looking out. So the triangle in the middle, to do a scoot back, the boys are going to go all the way around to the same person you're with right now, and the girls are just flipping over. Great. So scoot back. There you go. Scoot back again. Girls are in. When you meet them, do a hinge. Boys trade. That's one person. Boys run around the girls. Do a half of a circulate. Bend the line. And you're there. That's it. All right. Thank you for the hexagon time. We have five minutes. I'm sorry. We've got 20 minutes. Let's get the hexagon back up. Just kidding. Um, I have lots of choices. Many of the things I do are cerebral, hard, complicated for the people who really like the fun rule part of dancing. But yes, before you say something, Bill, could you come up and put it on the mic? Um, Bill's going to say something. Van Milley. Bill Van Milley from California. Um, I th think you should point out at this point that the, you know, these are two similar but different hexagon t approaches. They have the same geometry to the square. That is, you're, you're all working in nice triangular or arced things. But Bill has different rules for interpreting the calls. And right, so, so you have to know what, what, what his rules are. He's calling only to a hexagon so he can make up the rules. Like that teacup chain was what we normally think of as a normal teacup chain. Each girl goes to the next boy, and you do it six times, and you get back home. If you do it in the Clark style, where you're dancing at the same time as uh, four couple squares, the rest of the hall, you, the timing, you have to match the timing. So you only go four spots, and it's not progressing. Anyway, teacup chain is very complicated in Clark hex. Um, and similarly, like the past the ocean, you would not, after the past the ocean in the center, you would not be holding your original partner in Clark hex what you do in bills. So the, don't, don't confuse the two. I did not make a handout for this session, but I've given a similar session in the past, and all my handouts are on my website. If you Google Clark Baker Square Dance, you'll see something. This particular one is probably called Square Games, but there's also a whole thing on Clark Hexagon if you want to read that. So our alternatives are, we can do something that takes eight people and is a variation on Grand Square that you could get your club through, that everyone would have fun. You want to do that one first? Okay. We're going to do that. I need eight people, who, don't move, who are comfortable with Grand Square and are willing to sing in front of your peers. We'll be singing a row, row, row your boat. How many people in here have done row your boat? Yeah, so some of you know it. I forget who I saw this from. I'm always interested in grand square variations. It's We need a square, a normal square. Okay, you would be the nine pin. Okay, so um, I'm not sure I trust you guys. We do not need music, don't worry. Um, sides face, grand square, go. Walk, two, three, turn. Turn, turn, okay, square your set there, that's good, I trust you. Okay, well, they were doing pretty good. You need people who aren't slopping through and you can't have the little flourishes and all that. Um, what I want is sides face, okay. We're gonna do grand square as a round, just like we sing row, row, row your boat as a round. And we are going to sing and dance it at the same time. So when you're singing Row, 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 Your Boat, you're dancing Grand Square. You're going to go through it twice, and then you're going to stop. Since we sing Row, 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 Your Boat is around, I have to tell you who's doing the starting. Here's how it works. As I look through the square, the couple with their back to me, that's couple number one, they're going to start moving. The next people I see, which is man number two and lady number four, 
Also, you could describe them as the corners of the original people. They will start moving next. The next people to move will be the ones they're facing. Raise your hand, just so good. And finally, couple number three starts last. Does that sound good? Everyone's dancing the standard grand square pattern, although it will feel kinesthetically a little different. And you're singing loud and proud, row, row, row your boat. Usually, this doesn't work the first time. It may not work the second time, but like I said earlier, they get this sense of accomplishment as they finally get it. Sometimes the amount of time they don't get it is a reflection of how poorly you taught it. Are you ready? So I'm going to cue it as sides, face, row your boat. Who's going to start? It's really hard not to start because we're used to dancing when we hear the command. Sides, face, row your boat. Go. Like Grand Square, you're going to go forward once, automatically reverse at the end of your first song, and then go backwards. I think some people went forward two times through it, right? You don't have to sing it backwards. Uh, shall we try it once more with them? And you see, they did good. They didn't have problems. No one became Grand Square Roadkill. So, but it was fun, right? Maybe we need it. You seem kind of slow and draggy. Maybe I need a better tempo. Sides face, row your boat. Give him a hand. What? Well, okay. Um, I have two directions I can go in here. Oh, uh, Michael, you're going to come up on the microphone, the microphone. Microphone? You have to turn it on. Newer caller. <laughs> Thanks. Michael Malton Park from Chicago. Does this also work if it's headspace but doing it with the same people? Let's find out. He's a mathematician, so he wonders about these things. We're still the count's still the same. They're going to start. We're still dancing Grand Square. Okay. Yep. Who, you know who's starting? Heads face. Grand uh, row. Ugh. Heads face. Row your boat. Okay, Cal Campbell, Colorado. If you want to work this into a quadrille, you're adding 12 counts to the whole routine. Well, how many of you do popcorn? Anybody? Okay, popcorn is a tune that got a really neat figure. The only thing you need to do at the end of it is have the girls roll away and you can get a right hand progression and a promenade all the way around and end up with a 64 beat routine. Do you see it? Well, in other words, when you get to the end of it, you want to progress the girls. And it's a right hand rotation. You roll the girls away, promenade the next one as they do in popcorn, take a 16 beat, and you can come right back up and end up with a 64 beat routine. And it's neat to watch. Let's try it once. All right. All right. Sides face. Roll your boat. Just do the counts. Sides face, square and square. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, one, two, three, four. At this point, you've added 12 counts to 32. Roll the girls away across in front of you. Promenade the right-hand girl. 16 beats around. 
Okay. 15, 14, 15, 16. You got 16, 4. You've got the, you got the whole set. You got 64 bits. Hmm? Yeah. In other words, you you got the right hand lady as you come across. Okay. It ends up with the right hand lady progression. Right. Yeah. We're 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 working this out for an exhibition due at the Colorado State Festival. And when we get done with it, we'll send it to you. We've got four different uh, different types of grand square that we put into popcorn. And this is going to be the final to go into popcorn. I'll videotape it, and I'll put it up on the, on the website. Come watch it. Okay. How much time we got? Ten minutes. Okay, we have two alternatives. I have another grand square variation that takes eight more dancers. We can do that because, as Michael asked, do you know how much space there is in a grand square? Like half the square is, is empty space. We can put dancers in that. So let's get another square up, just square up behind them. These are people who are good at grand square, I hope. Sorry we don't have enough room. Sorry it's so hot in here. Well, the nice thing about the centers is you're just doing your normal grand square, so you don't have to know anything. Okay, um, I would like the center square to take a little step backwards so you're not super small, and the outside people go back as far as you can. If I had the space for it, I would argue that the people on the outside, a couple on the so for the tape, our square is a square in the middle with a couple behind each couple on the outside. And I would have you be three steps back because your goal is you're going to take walk, 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 and you'll be up in the middle, and then you're either going to pause a beat or turn to face. So I'm going to talk to the center square. We're going to be doing sides face grand square. It's just a normal thing. You're going to stay in the center four by four matrix. Does that make sense? Just good. I'm going to talk to the head couple on the outside. The head couple's on the outside. You're going to walk three steps in, pause, and then you're going to keep going forward, and you're now part of the head's part of grand square. Sound good? They're filling in behind you. They're delayed in time by four beats, and they're going to be one little spot off. All of you look equal sized. I don't think there'll be a problem. The <laughs> side people, you are going to walk three steps in till you're at the side couple position, and you're going to turn and face each other. And then you'll start by going backwards. Once you're in the pattern, the pattern size is how big on a grand square? Four by four. You're on like a little chessboard or checkerboard. You can't leave that chessboard or checkerboard. When you Then you reverse at the normal point. If you're on the outside, you're only going to get to do 12 beats because you killed four beats walking in. You're going to walk around for a bit. Then you're going to reverse. I'll cue it. It won't work the first time. It might work the second time. Sides face. Okay. Sides face. Grand square. Go walk, two, three, turn. Walk, two, three, turn. Walk, two, three, turn. Walk, two, three, reverse. Walk. Two, three, turn. Eh. Turn, walk, two, three, turn, back, back, back. Okay. They did pretty good. There was a little bit of, like, weirdness on the corner. Do you want to try again, or are you okay? You're good? Okay. So go away. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, so, okay, what else did I have done? Row your boat, grand square with 16 dancers. We discovered that after midnight one night at a weekend when we were messing around. I did that. Okay. Um, the last thing you could imagine doing is some sort of gimmick that might be fun. Oh, back up. Where are all the gimmicks, especially from the old days? What book should everyone own? Gene Trimmer's Specialty Squares. And I think I saw it available for sale on one of the websites, probably the Cote one that has all the books right. So that one's a good one. It's not perfect, but it's got a lot of ideas. And, and then on and Dos Do, right, and then on the um, uh, my website and other people's websites. Okay, this one, uh, I, there's two ridiculous ones we can do. And fortunately, they just take a few dancers, so we aren't going to have to get too many people up. We can do either nose dancing or bar stool dancing. We've done bar stool dancing before, 
at um, Color Lab and it one of the f fun dances. Um, so I'm tempted to do nose dancing just for a second. So if I could have um, me and three other dancers in the middle. Because I've done it before. Okay, Michael's going to be with it. I want to be a guy. Are you my partner? Okay. Wonderful. Hi. Oh, you've never done this before? No. Oh, this is great. Okay. So here we are. We're facing couples, and we could do any facing couple stuff. Um, what we want to do is turn and face your partner and take your inside hand and put your hand on your hip. So I have the boy's left hand on his hip and the girl's right hand. And your other hand, you're going to keep straight down. So you're doing good. And this, that little bend, like I'm a little teapot, is your nose. Okay. Okay? So face your partner, bow to your partner. Face your opposite, bow to your opposite. All go forward and back. Pass through. Yeah. Do you want a partner trade or wheel around? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's your nose. We'll do a partner trade. Okay, partner trade's tough. You're going to aim your nose toward me, and I'm going to go on the outside. Keep going, keep going, keep curving, curving, curving. Good. Oh, good. We're ready for right and left through. Are you set? Right and left through. We right pull by, stay looking at me, and we courtesy turn because we're connected. Velcroed. Oh, we did good. Now we could, what do you think, square through four? Right, left. Right, left. <laughs> Partner trade. See, she's giggling a lot. This is good. do si do To a wave. This is a right-hand ocean wave. Doesn't it look like a right-hand ocean wave? You look at the noses poking out. We could do swing through. We would go half by the right and half by the left. Let's do that again. Swing through, right. Look in the middle. Good. Left. Good. What are you thinking? Recycle or something else? <laughs> I think one more swing through. Swing through. And then we'll do a boy's run. So one thing I like is when you are a, quote, normal couple, all of us are normal couples, we are looking at each other. Okay? So that kind of can help you. Wheel and deal, follow your nose. <laughs> Pass the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Swing through. Boys run. Girls hinge. Oh, look, a diamond. <laughs> diamond circulate. Flip the diamond. Oh, she almost did a stretch flip. Okay. And we mentioned the recycle. We may as well. You're going to make your nose fold to follow me around and face in. 360-degree turn. Recycle. Whee! Boom. Right and left through. Whoa, watch that nose. And you're home. So that's nose dancing. There's a lot of fun you can have with it. Um, you can see people have, right? Okay, good. Two minutes. Yeah, it'll be in Taminations next week. Your comment was? Are there any questions or anything? Any comments? No. Um, yeah. I, I was going to, again, with all these things, there's several ways to do no's. Some people have everyone take their what, left hand in and be the nose. I like having the girl go one way and the boy go the other way because you're a couple, but be aware that some people do it one way and some people do it the other way. Here's a comment. I don't know about you, but I think this is the best session they've ever had right here. Look how many people came and how many partic participants. And look at all the smiles. Everybody's writing stuff down. It's an excellent, excellent presentation. Thank you both. Thank you, Stephen. And with that, he's, oh, we have one more comment. Maybe he liked it too. Joe Gonzalez, Clovis, California. On the hexagon, I, um, 
I was writing it down how to do it, and I was doing heck, um, uh, rectangles, and it worked the same. Hexagon work the same as rectangles. They work or they don't? They do. There's a bunch of things to say there. Um, uh, I was first exposed to the rectangle dancing, which was either set up as three head couples facing three head couples, or two head couples facing two head couples and one side couple at each end of the rectangle, either way. When you do calls there, um, different calls can grow left to right or front to back. Um, for example, let's consider ping pong circulate. If I have a ping pong circulate and I'm the center wave and we have one extra couple out there, we all know ping pong circulate. What if I added four more people to the square and had two waves in the middle and a couple out there. Well, that doesn't quite fit our definition, but everyone would do a ping pong circulate by walking forward a little bit and they'd clap and trade and we'd still have two waves in the middle. So I would say that ping pong circulate can expand to more dancers in the you know, front to back direction. What if instead we had a wave of six across the middle and we had a couple of three out there and a couple of three out there? If we had more time, I'd say more you know, get dancers up. We can do a ping pong circulate from there where all the people from the wave come out and special stuff happens and the couples come in and they have a wave of six. So ping pong circulate is one of our few calls, all eight circulates another one, that can expand in both directions. When we're doing the 12 couple dancing, or sorry, six couple dancing, especially in rectangles, anytime time we're doing four person calls, they work everywhere, right? They're easy in a hexagon. They're easy in the other thing. It's when you get into the calls like eight chain through, relay the deucey, spin chain exchange the gears, coordinate the eight dancer calls, you sometimes have to bend or modify the rules a bit. And how they get bent or modify could just be up to the caller because if you're teaching it, they're never going to see it again. Who cares? Do what it takes to work, especially if it makes resolving easier, which is a bunch of the magic that Bill does with his hexagons. He always gets his people right back at home and is not taking a lot of brain power is my bet. Yeah, because uh, he's a smart caller. And um, uh, that's where I would say that, you know, I can do Relay the Ducey from three waves of four. I probably can't do, I might be able to do Relay, Relay the Ducey from two waves of six. That's where you have to be careful. When I first encountered that dancing, uh, Don Beck showed it to me. I tried to go home and go, wow, what's the general rule? And suddenly I began to realize it's on a call-by-call -call basis. You have to figure out what it does and bend the rules a little bit. Chain reaction would be another one. I could do a chain reaction with two waves of four in the middle and some people out there. So some stuff works, some stuff doesn't, some stuff you have to add a few rules, et cetera. Okay, let's call it quits. It's hot in here. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for playing. And send us information on other stuff that you have that you find fun in your own areas.